Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am going to just basically jump right into today's video, so please don't mind all of the chaos happening behind me. We are moving in like five days and we're trying to get ready and it's kind of a mess. But, like I said, I'm just going to jump right into today's video. So, for those of you who don't know, I work as a part-time occasional nanny for between 20 and 50 families a month. I could do a whole other video on that, but it's crazy and it's a little bit nuts. With that, obviously, I have to meet the family. So I always do like a meet and greet or I go and meet them ahead of time before I usually am left with their children, obviously. And I'm saying all of this because what I'm trying to get across is that I meet a lot of families and I talk to a lot of parents. And there's one thing that they always do, regardless of what degree of parent they think they are, they think they're like a really bad parent or an amazing parent or somewhere in the middle, there's something that they all do without fail when they either meet them or when they're giving me the rundown of their routine, and that is justify their parental choices to me. I feel terrible, honestly, that any parent feels like they need to justify to anyone why they make the choices that they make for their kid. When I'm talking about justifying, you know, I'm talking about things like whether or not their if their child is on formula, they feel like they need to explain to me why they've made that decision. Or if their child is still drinking from a bottle, or it's warmed, or they still have a soother, or they have five stuffed animals in their bed that they have to have to sleep at night or if they co-sleep, or sing their kid to sleep, or read a whole bunch of stories, anything. It's so many different things, you know, it's whether they have a sound machine, or, you know, they choose to do a certain strict bedtime routine, the way they feed their child. If they baby led wiener, they prefer their th foods to be really finely cut. If their child sleeps with the light on, or they light the light off, the door open, the door closed, parents always want to justify to me why they do that. And usually it's more so for the bigger things I feel like when it's like a small baby and they're formula feeding they're like well you know we're doing this because and you know this is what works for us and they always seem so like almost defensive when they're trying to explain to me why they do what they do and I want to be the first one to say you do not owe me an explanation you do not know owe anyone an explanation as long as your child is being taken care of and happy and healthy and the doctors aren't concerned and there's no harm towards your child, do not feel like you need to justify to anybody why you do the things you do. If your child sleeps better in your bed and it works for you, do it. If your child is on formula because you chose to, because the doctor told you to, whatever your reasoning, just do it. Like I don't want anybody to ever feel like they have to explain to me because the big thing that I need to get across to all of you, and it's not just to me, it's when you're talking to anybody about your child, it's that the decisions you choose to make with your child do not affect me and my life. Plain and simple. Even if I come to care for your child, if you need me to warm up a bottle for them, that's what, an extra 30 seconds, maybe a minute? Any decisions that you have already made as a parent and you need me to do are just the way it is, and that's okay, and it works for your family, and that's okay. I think I am really lucky. I have an amazing mother and I have an amazing sister. My mother had five kids and my sister has four kids and they both, as long as I can remember, including my sister pre-having children, have always had the philosophy, you do what works for you and your family. And I think that's really helped me understand that like, you do what works for you. I just need all of you parents out there to know that you guys are doing an amazing job does not matter what you've chosen to do for your kids, you are doing an amazing job as long as they are not in any harm's way. You are nailing it. So, so awesome. And that's it. That's all there is to it and I needed to get it off my chest. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Let me know in the comments down below how you feel about the topic. I know it's kind of a tough one and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.